Hi guys, fairly regular request, rubber band powered car without using hot glue, without using CDs, uh, without using barbecue skewers. So, I've got a cardboard tray here from the supermarket, uh, probably had grapes in it or something originally. Oh no, broccoli that says, not that it matters. It's fairly thick cardboard so it'll be fairly stiff. So I'll use that for the body. I could use it for wheels as well, but I've done quite a few rubber band powered cars with cardboard wheels. I've got sticky tape here from the bargain store. I'm thinking of actually using that for the wheels. I've done that before. Um, you need to fill them in, so I'll probably cut some discs from the cardboard to fill in the wheel so we can put the axle through the middle. For the axles I've got this windmill from the bargain store. So it's got a couple of um, rods there that I think are actually fiberglass. So I'm going to use them for the axles. Could just as easily use barbecue skewers but I'm trying to use all different components this time. Glue. I saw this in the bargain store in the craft section. Ultimate craft glue. Clear drying acrylic glue. Ideal for your creative projects. And on the back it says dries perfectly clear, suitable for paper, card, fabric, metal and plastic. So um, we'll find out whether it works. I've no idea. Uh, I've got a single size 64 rubber band there. I've got some kite string. I've got some styrofoam plates. And I've got some styrofoam pizza trays. Uh, that's what my supermarket sells their pizzas on. It's about oh, five millimeters thick. Not sure if I'm going to use them. Certainly not for the first build. It's going to be cardboard body or chassis, sticky tape wheels or sticky tape roll wheels with cardboard in the middle uh, to fill them out. Uh, sharp knife, compass to draw circles with and a cutting board so I don't cut into my table. Let's see how we do.